Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Ford. Today we are going to be creating emoji flip books. If you take a look right here, I have an emoji smiley face. On the back, it's a yawning one. However, if you flip it and open it, we have a scared emoji and a mask emoji. And what you can do is you can keep flipping them to get lots of different emoji faces over and over and over again. And there are four of them. So what we're going to do today is we are going to be creating our own emoji flip books. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to get a template. The template will look like this. However, yours are going to be completely blank and you're going to design four different emojis. Um, you can look at the references in the Google Slides. You could look on your computer, Google search, um, for different emoji cons that you would like to draw and you are going to draw them in each of the spaces. If you need help, I do have a worksheet that has four different emojis on them, but I do want you to try to be creative and try to come up with your own four emojis that you would like to do. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add some color to them. And I'm really going to play, pay attention. I just don't want to color this yellow. What I want to do is I want to add some value to it. Notice that the eyes in the emojis are not really black. They're actually a dark brown. So I'm going to start to color some of these. Now, we talked about value before and how light or dark a color is can change uh, depending on the pressure that you press down with your crayons. I want you to use crayons or colored pencils for this project. Whatever you have, please try not to use markers because then we can't get value out of the markers. So I'm going to color with um, the red crayon. I'm going to press down very hard and then I'm going to press down lightly um, because there's a little bit of a shadow. While I'm doing this, I'm actually looking at my phone, which has all the different emojis in it. Now, emoji faces you think are, oh, they're all yellow. No, they're not. They're actually yellow, yellow, orange, and orange. So what I do is I lay down a little bit of yellow first, okay, and I press down firmly, medium to firm uh, with the crayon. So I'm going to keep coloring it in. You really want to try to stay in the lines. It's okay if you go out of the little lines, but you really want to try to stay in the lines, okay? So I'm going to color this in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with some yellow-orange. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside and get my yellow-orange. And there's like a border of a yellow-orangey color in here. And then at the bottom, there's a little bit of yellow-orange. I'm going to change my pressure. I'm going to go really, really lightly here. And what I'm doing is I'm creating a little bit of value where our emojis are. If you look at the bottom and around the top of the emojis, they are a little bit darker. So I'm going to change the pressure to a darker value. And then I'm going to kind of shade in on the side here. So that now it really does look like a real emoji cum. Okay. If you need to go in a little darker, I can take a little bit of the orange. Um, and you're going to put this in here. Now, when you're choosing your emojis, you can choose any three face emojis you want. This one right here, the heart actually became like on the outside of here, but I want you to try to make sure everything stays inside of um, the face. Just like this one down here, the teardrop. Um, the teardrop is really dark here, and it was actually going out of the face, but um, I'm not going to do that. And then I'm going to do shading the bottom here and the top part of his face is blue so I'm going to do a little bit of blue I'm going to go to from dark to medium to light because this actually transforms into yellow because he's a sad face so I'm pressing this with my crayons okay this works really good with crayons and colored pencils the value you can't get too much value out of markers because they're one color. You can't press down with markers. They don't create a value. So I'm, do is I'm going to start doing, I'm going to do it really, really light at the bottom here. Then I'm going to start with the yellow. I'm going to overlap it just a little bit. Notice as it changes a little bit of green. That's okay. That is normal. Okay. I'm going to keep going. And then I'm going to go back with my yellow orange and then we're going to add color to that. Now, um, you're going to work at your own pace with this. So I'm not going to sit here and finish all four of them. 
Okay, you'll be able to see the all four finished in the next uh, video that I create. Okay, so what you're going to do is you are going to continue to color all four emojis to the best of your ability using value. Try to um, change the pressure of your color pencils or crayons that you have. That really creates and makes it look 3D. Now, the last, last step to coloring is the background part. Okay, you need to color this entire square in. So choose a contrasting color. Choose a color that you haven't used, um, maybe something that pops it out. All right, so in here I have blues and I have browns and um, I think oranges, so I'm going to go with this magenta color. And what you're going to do is you're just going to color it in one solid color. So it's pretty simple. Um, use your crayon, use your pressure to it. I want you to do one solid color. Try to keep it pretty even because you do want these to, when they rotate, um, to be the color. It's okay if you go outside of the box for this because you're going to end up cutting these out completely. Just be careful not to go into the boxes that are next to it because then you'll get that color in there. So I'm going to keep coloring in here okay, as best as I can and you are going to then finish all four emojis. So come up with some creative drawings for your emojis and then add color to them. All right, I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Uh, remember that choose four of them that are different because these are going to be put into a flipbook and they're going to be all different. All right, if you have any questions, just ask.